What's up, y'all? I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. Um, this is about like the message I was getting was uh, this is about somebody that's like ready to let some relationship burn here with this Ace of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, the Hermit could be Virgo, right? Because it feels like they got like they're looking at somebody else here. Um, they got they were already setting up a goal on somebody else could be somebody that they're working with here with the eight of pentacles but like it's obviously already something going on behind somebody's back here for sure okay so this could be the person you're dealing with maybe it's you or somebody around you somebody you know something like that so 74 47 could mean something um 282 82 28 that's the numbers I'm seeing is 75, 57. Okay, so anyway, like I said, this person, the song that I got um, that came on when these cards were falling out was uh, Usher, Let It Burn. So like I said, this person is wanting to let this relationship go, okay? Um, they've been repeating cycles with this person. Like, they've probably been with this person for a long time, but they they ready to let it go. I suppose. There's a lot of back and forth energy here. So I'm going to pull some more cards and see what comes out. Okay, so it's like, yeah, this person's been uh, checking out other options here with this Seven of Cups. And then, but like, they feel stuck with this Four of Swords. Okay, the Chariot, with the Chariot next to uh, the Devil, Cancer, and um, Capricorn energy, I feel like yeah, this person is wanting to move on, but they feel bad about it or something. Maybe there's some kids involved or something like that, but I'll see. Cause, okay, so you got this Seven of Swords here. To me, that feels like somebody just really wanting to... Well, maybe they are leaving out in the night, going and seeing like competition here with this Five of Wands, your competition or something like that. But, um, yeah, they're just... This person's got a family, but they're... They seem to be chasing after other, you know, people is what I'm trying to say here. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, uh, Taurus energy here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, they could be putting money towards this situation, like taking y'all's money and putting it towards something else is what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Uh, could be a Leo or an Aquarius involved in this situation here. But you've been, you've had to be... Like, heal yourself, gain strength in this situation, whatever it is, because this person keeps just taking and taking and taking from you. Okay, 97, 79 could be significant, but this person is always taking from you here. The Seven of Swords keeps coming up, so this person is always lying, keeping you up late at night, like maybe wondering where they are. You know, maybe they're always saying they're at work, they're working. This is what I'm getting here, okay? So... Definitely could be a Leo or an Aquarius here with uh, the star and the sun coming up. Okay, so that's two more Aquarius and Leo cards beside each other, okay? Um, but you're this queen of wands here, I feel like, okay? All this healing energy. Somebody's really had to do a lot of healing from this situation. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Is this family? No, it's not family. Y'all got a family is what I feel like. Maybe a few kids, maybe one kid. Don't even have to be kids involved, but I feel like y'all live with each other. Y'all did live with each other. And this person that you're dealing with, it's like, they could be a Sagittarius with the, the Tempers card here, but I feel like, yeah, your, your guys are telling on this person some kind of way. Maybe listen to the... Check out what music they're listening to, okay? Not a Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, but I feel like your guys, your ancestors are making this person tell on themselves by something they're doing at night here with the... Yeah, this person is being two-faced here with this Two of Swords. It, yeah, this Two of Swords and this Seven of Swords here. Look at that moon right, right back there. Something might have happened on the full moon. Okay, although that's not a full moon, but I'm just noticing the moon in both cards, and we just had a full moon. Man, that's a lot. Okay, judgment. Mm. 
I'm not taking all these. Okay, let's see. Okay, who's the, what's the star? Six of Wands. Okay, so you, yeah, Six of Wands and the Six of Cups. So, 66 here. Okay, so you are, you've been victorious over something that's happened in the past. Definitely. Okay, so this person, maybe you got away from this person. Okay. And started focusing on self-love here with the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Like you started seeing a different vision here with the Three of Wands. Like something else than what, you know, than going over. Maybe because you was just ready to move on from something here. Yeah. You was ready to change over to another cycle. Maybe with the Wheel of Fortune, maybe you was ready to cut quantum jump. <laughs> To another cycle or you was tired of somebody juggling you here with the two of pentacles could have been a gemini or virgo with the magician but you started manifesting a new life so you might have had to um grow where you were planted for a minute what's the magician hmm okay the eight of pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, let's see what, what's this Eight of Pentacles? So, something about work. No, somebody was doing something behind your back with the Three of Swords here. I thought that when I seen the Eight of Pentacles, but I didn't want to say it yet. 83 or 38 could be significant. What is this Three of Swords? What is this Three of Swords? Okay, you might have a child with this person. Or it could be a friend. Nah, what? Well, yeah, what's the Three of Swords? What's the Three of Swords? What's the Three of Swords? Okay, could be, could be a family member. The Hierophant could be Pisces or a Taurus, okay? Could be a family member. I said it could be a friend. Okay, Three of Swords, so that don't have to mean, yeah, it could be, either a family member or a friend. But what they do behind your back? What they do behind your back? What they do behind your back? Dang. Could have been a Libra. Okay. Three of them. Uh, it was something they might have did in the past, okay? With the Six of Cups. Three of Pentacles. They were always thinking like, they were always like, the grass was always greener on the other side in the past, okay? Yeah, they were always like fighting some kind of collaborating with their own demons or something here with this crazy looking Three of Pentacles. Uh, and so you had to finally start standing up for yourself. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Knight of Swords. Yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have, um, you could be a Taurus, Gemini, Cusp, or Aries, um, Gemini, something, some kind of Cusp I'm seeing here. I said, I seen fire because of her red hair there. <laughs> okay, Four of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be overcoming addictions or overcoming somebody that was holding on to you too tightly in a marriage here because with the higher friend that could be a marriage wow yeah let's see definitely moving on from something here with the knight of pentacles um moving on from this this person that you've been repeating cycles with probably since a long time ago okay 94, 49 could be significant, okay? But you've been repeating these same cycles with this person. They could have been uh, some kind of alcoholic addict or something like that. It could even be a father here that y'all are walking away from. With the King of Pentacles, mother or father, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Right, but maybe you just started planting seeds in your own family which you know or your business with the seven pen seven of pentacles and the ten of pentacles so that's an eight so yeah working on yourself working on your family your business because 
something to do with family situations with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Y'all no, just putting that stuff in the past. I'm going to get one more song and see what's up with that. But, yeah, y'all are just letting a lot of stuff burn. Oh, and then uh, Cardi B up. Yeah, okay. So, y'all are up because you put all this bullshit behind you. You let, like, old relationships that weren't working no more, you let it burn. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the solid came on with Lil Wayne Lollipop. Okay, so what's coming for... Okay, uh, damn. The Ten of Swords and the Death. Okay, Scorpio Energy. Four Cups. Death to... Death to, like, laziness and boredom. Okay, what is this Four of Cups? Death to the Knight of Wands energy. Leo Aries Sagittarius. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, page of Cups and the Page of Swords. Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so you... Definitely could have just focused on your kids and your home situation or whatever. Or this could be, this looks like a family here to me of like, you know, young people also. So, three of swords, putting it into whatever that heartbreak was. Whoever it was that broke your heart. Yeah, another three, three of, three of pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. You started focusing on your money. Instead of like these immature people that you was hanging around with before. Okay, right. You started focusing on your money. Like I said, the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You started focusing on your money. Okay. And so, yeah. <laughs> Right, new beginning. You put that that family behind you because yeah, there like I said, there could have been could have been kids involved, but don't have to be. Whatever it was, you got like a a fresh new beginning here, and then thirty three that you got a master number, so things are looking good. You're in your King of Wands energy, like moving passionately ahead. Whether you're a woman, female, man, male, whatever the case may be, yeah. Y'all are moving out of these choppy waters with the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Maybe moving away from a narcissist energy here. Queen of Swords or um, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? The Nine of Pentacles, you're going to be very abundant here. And you also, like, y'all could have been through some kind of spiritual awakening with the Hermit and the High Priestess. Virgo, um, Cancer, Taurus, Pisces. Yeah. And I keep saying somebody's getting a car. Okay. With the chariot. Um, could be a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But somebody's coming out of uh somebody's coming out of some stagnant energy here with the hangman that's Pisces and then the six of ones. You're gonna be victorious out of and somebody might be starting some yoga or something like that. I'm feeling like opening up your third eye and gaining your strength leo energy sagittarius aries taurus energy with the hierophant okay somebody's growing spiritually the empress and the ten of pentacles okay y'all are really bossing up male or female okay coming out of your head and focusing on your come up okay that's what I got for y'all right now. So I hope it helped y'all. Thank you.